Hey guys, welcome back, Nick from KN Tech. Do you guys recognize this? This is the screen that I use to do my mini stat screen uh, to put inside my case. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna stick a link for it right up there. Well, I'm gonna do version 2.0 this time and we're gonna see if we can get that stat screen looking a little bit cleaner and giving us some more information. Stick around guys, we'll see how it turns out. So when I did the mini stat screen first time round in that previous video, if you remember, I actually used NZXT CAM software, which is the monitoring software which comes with NZXT hardware. Now I used the version that was about two or three versions old, it wasn't the current one, and that's because the slightly older version gave me more options to get the colors that I wanted to go to match in with the scheme that I had in my machine at the time, with the red and the white. So what I'm gonna be doing this time is I'm gonna be using something called IDA64. Now this is a free piece of software which you can download, and I'm gonna stick a link to that in the description down below. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through, once you've, got that in, once you've got that installed, I'm going to take you through how you can set up a little sensor panel, how you can drag that across and put it onto a small screen once you've got it in your computer. I'm not going to go through how I actually fixed up and mounted the screen because I've covered that in an earlier version, although I have made some small changes and I will cover those here. So this is the original screen that I used and I just mounted it on the bottom of the power supply shroud and I used a little bit of double-sided foam back sticky tape to get that stuck on there. Again, this wasn't the best look in the world because it meant that it didn't sit flat onto the PSU shroud. So what I've gone ahead and done this time round is I've made a few modifications to this and I'll take you through that right now. So firstly, what I've done is I've taken a small piece of MDF and I've cut it out about the same size of the actual, of the actual screen. And you can see I've actually glued, I've actually glued on a couple of standoffs so these are mainboard standoffs, uh, which I had a few lying around with. And I've got that in turn, I've got that lined up so that I can actually put the mini stat screen on there. What this does is twofold. Firstly, it gives me something which looks a little bit cleaner when it goes on the power supply shroud. And secondly, it actually evens up the back of this because obviously where you have the HDMI coming out, it means it's never gonna sit flush. So once I've got that screwed on there, it means I'm gonna have a nice simple black back plate which I can then just mount on the bottom of the power supply shroud. So there we can see that's now mounted on the bottom of the power supply shroud. I haven't actually got that ad ad stuck on there right now because I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna go. It may need to go up a little bit so I can get the side panel clearance in. But as you can see, that just becomes another desktop on my computer, which means I can then display anything on there I want. So let's go ahead and have a look at the IDA64 software and we can see how we get the sensor panel actually up and running. Okay, so that's got the screen mounted in the case. Now I'm gonna switch over to OBS so I can do some screen recording. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can set up the sensor panel using the IDA64 software. Okay, so I've gone ahead and opened up the IDA64 software, and this is what you're gonna see as soon as you open it up. The first thing you, you're gonna to wanna to do is check your file and preferences. That's where, we can find the, that's where we can find the details for the sensor panel. So if you scroll down the left-hand side, you'll see down here under hardware monitoring, you'll see one that says sensor panel. You wanna go ahead and click on that. We're gonna click on show the sensor panel and we're gonna make sure that we, so that we can see it and we can actually work that out. We're also gonna lock the panel size, and this is where you're gonna to wanna to actually enter in whatever the resolution is on the screen that you're using. So mine's 800 by 480, which you can see there. And as soon as I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna hit the apply button, and that's gonna give me a blank sensor panel, which I can then drag over into this screen. So this is the actual sensor panel that we're gonna be using. And this is what I'm actually gonna fill and populate with all of the readings that I want to see. And then eventually I'll drag that over and put it on the small screen that I've got set up as one of my desktop screens. I'll just go ahead and show you that right here. So right here you can see my panel number three is my small desktop screen. And we can see if we scroll down, you can see what the resolution of that is right here. That's what you're going to want to need. To, that's what you're going to need to put in your IDA64 software. right here, 800 by 480. Okay, so once we have our panel up, we're gonna to need to put, we wanna put some stuff in it. So we're gonna go right click and then click on sensor panel manager. And here you can see this is completely empty because we haven't actually added anything in yet. First we're gonna do is we're gonna go and add a simple piece of software. Uh, we're gonna go and add a simple monitor that's gonna tell us what the temperature is of our CPU. So we're gonna click on new, and then we're gonna do simple sensor item and then we're gonna come down till we see temperatures and then we're gonna add in CPU temperature. So we can see temperatures right there and we'll click on CPU. We'll add it in 
and we'll see right there in the top left hand corner is the temperature of the CPU. Now that doesn't look very interesting right there, so what we can do is we can actually change that up a little bit. So if we just click on that and then hit the modify button, we can mess around with the size of the font for example, we can make it a lot bigger so it's going to be easier to see. And then of course if we want to move that, we can click on these little direction indicators. Unfortunately you can't drag it on the screen which would be super useful. But what we can do is we can move this 5 pixels, 10 pixels, 20 pixels at a time. Or one if you want to make some fine adjustments. So let's go 10 pixels and we want to move that over to the right. And we click on hitting the right hand button until that moves over to where we want it to be. Now if you don't want to have something like that as a text item and you want to see it more as something graphical, we can do that as well. So let's click on new and this time in the drop down box we're going to select a gauge. So again I'm going to pick the same thing, I'm going to pick the temperature of the CPU so we can see what that looks like. So we scroll down till we get to temperatures and we'll pick up CPU. I'm going to make it a large one because it's going to make it easier for us to see on screen. So then we have actually now so now we actually have a gauge which is telling us what our temperature is. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over underneath the temperature gauge uh, underneath the temperature that we've got at the moment. And then I'm going to go through what a couple of the options you've got for the gauges themselves. So if I click on modify, we can change that out and we can switch that to a large we can switch that to a a, a white reverse. What that basically does is it's white but it goes from the right as opposed to the left. I've never found out, under, I've never understood really what that does, but hey, you never know. So if we hit modify one more time, I'm going to go to black because I think the black ones look a little bit slicker. And so we've got the minimum value of zero and maximum value of 100. Depending on what your maximum temperature is for your CPU, you can put 105 in there. Most Intels have 105 as their maximum temperature. Um, but like I say, you can you can uh, you can change that around if you want. So we have the show icon and show value. So you can always decide whether you want the values to be shown or not. And if you want to mess around with those, you can do. You can show icon, show value. You can increase the text size as well of the of the icon of the of the value there as well. So that's basically it. You obviously just need to have a little play around with it. There are different ones that you can use. So for example, if you want to have the CPU clock. You can do that as well. If you want to have utilization, you can add that in there as well. And you can do different kind of bars and you can do, if you click on um, a sensor item, you can have uh, values and you can have bars. So you can have it so it shows you a bar. For example, let's, uh, let's find something here then. Let's click on CPU utilization. And we'll add that in real quick. So it gives us a bar right here. And you can mess around with the settings on that to get it so that it actually, so that it actually shows. So utilization is obviously a percentage. So I'm going to go 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. And if we click on OK, you can see that when it's being used, it's not being used. It's a very small, it's a very small part of the, uh, very small part of the bar being highlighted. But if you were to run something like a if you were to run something like a stress test, in actual fact, let's go ahead and do that right now so we can see what that looks like. Let's run a real quick uh, cine bench just so you guys can see what happens to this when we actually run it. So what we're looking at here is the temperature and the utilization of the CPU. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run a cine bench. And we can see that, so the utilization has gone up and that's obviously changed color, it's gone into the red and the temperature is moving up as well to 72 degrees. So yes, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna stop that running right now. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to go ahead and add the different, uh, the different elements into it that you wanna do. Once you're happy with that, you can export them into a uh, into a, a file which you can put um, you can put that file on your desktop you can export that and you can save the settings and you can even share them with other people so what I'm going to do now here is I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and import the one that I've been working on um, 
So this is the one that I've actually been working on. And this is the one that I'm actually going to put on my sensor panel. And we can see it's got a whole bunch of information here about the CPU, the GPU, the memory and the drives. Um, so that's the one I'm actually going to put across and put into my uh, sensor panel. And uh, then we'll have a look at it and we'll see how it looks. So here we can see the uh, side of my PC and I've got the panel off right here. And we can see down at the bottom, as soon as I turn the screensaver off, we can see there's our sensor panel. And it looks pretty cool down the bottom there. And if we zoom in a little bit, we can see all the information that we want to see on there. So the problem with this, obviously, it's only a small five inch screen. You can get larger screens. You can get seven inch screens, which would actually take up a bit more room and give you a bit more room to put the stats on there a little bit bigger. So, yeah, if you're not actually going to be super close to the screen, this might be a little small. It might be a little cluttered. But obviously, you can figure out and you can work out which works best for you. This is just a basic idea about how you can use this new software, this new, well, it's not new software, how you can use this IDA64 software to give you a bit more of a customized stat screen. Well, there you go, guys. Mini stat screen version 2.0. An improvement on the previous one I did because obviously using the IDA64 software, it allows me to customize the icons that I want to put on the screen. I can put pretty much anything that I want on there. As long as there's a sensor in the PC to monitor it, I can stick it on the new mini stat screen. So I hope you liked the video and maybe it's given you some ideas about how you want to go about putting a little mini stat screen in your own case. Hey, even if you've got a couple of the old DVD trays that you're not using in the front of your tower case, maybe you could cut that out and you could put one in there. That would look pretty, pretty interesting. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out along with the bell notification. That way you can keep up when I load another video up. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you on the next one.